What's going on y'all? Chuck Nunface here. Marauder H. Medford Knife and Tool. Done up by EDC Specialties. An authorized Medford Knife and Tool uh, not only dealer but modifier as well. There aren't many out there but they are authorized to do modifications to Medford Knives. Refinishes, things like that. Um, and I maybe warranty work. I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, it's something you can contact them about. I don't know if they do warranty work or not, but they are authorized to do modifications. So yeah, this one just came in the other day. I kind of reached out to EDC Specialties and I said, hey, I'm looking for a, what does Medford call it? Um, suppressed features. I didn't know what it was called at the time, but it's a, a, suppress, a feature suppressed Marauder H, because I do have another one, but that one has you know, the typical milling lines in there, the two spots got like a pattern milled out there and then also uh, on the show scale. So if a flat show scale and it's got these milling areas. And so I said, I'm looking for a feature suppressed Marauder H. Will you let me know when you have one? And they're like, yep, we'll let you know. We have some coming in next week and we'll let you know what we got and uh, we can go from there. And uh, it came in, it was just a, a Predator, or not Predator style, uh, Terminator style. So just a, a tumbled, tumbled finished stained glass as you can see right there this is the stained glass finish that Medford does let me close it might be easier like that stained glass and um so yeah it was just basically raw raw TI tumbled TI and so you know they were like they kind of went over some options and everything else we could pretty much do whatever you want is basically what they told me so the guys over at EDC specialties said yeah it's, it's pretty much a blank canvas whatever you want to do now, of course, it did come with uh, PVD hardware, PVD blade, um, S45EN, Tanto. On the Marauder, I really like the Tantos, um, Tantos, whatever you want to call it, and of course, a PVD breaker. Um, so yeah, all PVD hardware, pivot, blade, breaker, all that good stuff. And it was just raw TI. And um, they're like, yeah, whatever you want to do, we can even do a black anno. I'm like, well, how do you do black anno? They're like, well, it's a blasting process, and then it's something else. You know, they didn't really go into details, but they do a black anodization on it. So it's probably a chemical process, a blasting, then a chemical process. Because it doesn't feel like a lot of times when you blast metal, it'll take on a very specific texture. It does have a texture to it, but it's not overly textured where it gets that media blast feel. Um, it's still very smooth. I mean, it's textured, but smooth. And, um, you know, and then we can just kind of brush the peaks and you can get those anodes any color you want. So at first I was going to do like a purple uh, for the peaks there. But then I was like, well, you know, maybe just just regular TI, you know, unfinished. And they're like, well, you know, we'd, we'd have to blast it and then, you know, take the take the finish off the peaks anyway. So, you know, whatever you want to do, we'll, we'll send you pics. And so, yeah, they did it and they got it done in a day and they sent it. And like two days later it was at my house. So. Really happy about this one right here. I am kind of uh, on the Marauder train. I have really found the Marauder H to kind of be where I'm at with Medford knives. Um, I really just like a lot about them. I like pretty much everything about them and I really like the, the Tonto profile. I think that's just the best. Um, it looks so great on this knife. And you can see it's got that nice grind marks. Even though it's the blade is coated, it still has those nice grind marks really sharp i don't know if it's the edc specialties kind of took uh took this to the the buffing wheel or something like that and kind of finished off that edge or if it's just straight from the factory i'm not sure but yeah it's really sharp nice bevel nice secondary bevel put on there um a little more cute than my other marauder um and yeah so it's just really nice oh and this is also a 2024 model as you can see right there denoted by the four the 406 so that means uh 2024 June, six month, and then the 142 would be the number of the run. I don't know what the inside says. I don't know what the inside says. It probably doesn't match. It may match, but it probably doesn't match. Uh, the action was perfect. Um, you know, they, they put nano oil on this. They cleaned off uh, Medford's grease and they put nano, on, nano oil on this. And so the action was awesome. Now I did... Uh, adjust it to where I'm at to, to my liking so it was more drop shut when I got it and probably the way most people would like it however with the Marauders there's this 
I don't even know how to describe it really. There's this hydraulic smoothness to it that is not really drop shut, but when you open it, it just feels a certain way. And so I'm trying to get that. And so I did flex the lock bar over just a little bit. I took it apart and I, I flexed the lock bar over just a tad to kind of recapture that. Cause my other one is damn near perfect, I think. Um, it's a little tighter than maybe I want it, but it's gonna break in a little bit more and get exactly where I want it. And so this one, I think I'm, I may tinker with it a little bit more, but I might just leave it as is. Um, Cause it is really great as it is right now. Um, you can definitely finger flick it. Middle finger flick it does require a little bit of wrist. And without any wrist, you can thumb flick it, no problem. And of course, you know, slow roll as always, you can do that as well. So yeah, really happy with this one right here. Big shout out to EDC Specialties for the custom work on this, um, plus getting it out to me so fast. I was really impressed. Uh, awesome guys to deal with. Definitely uh, a company that you should check out if you're looking for a Medford or, or another knife, something like that. Check out EDC Specialties in California. They do uh, they do awesome work. And they're on Instagram as well. I'll go ahead and link their profile in the description. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, I, I'm looking at new ways to, to shoot in the truck here. So you'll probably see some different presentations when I'm doing car videos. I really just need to kind of just get a, get a truck, get a mount for my, my phone so I can shoot videos that way. Um, cause this tends to be the way that I find the most time where I can just kind of do it, you know, while I'm at work, do it on my lunch break, something like that. But I can just shoot a quick video. So you'll probably see me experiment with a little bit more and then I'll, I'm, I'm sure at some point I'll get a, uh, a camera mount for the truck. But in any case, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, those of you that are subscribed to the channel certainly do appreciate that. Turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.